I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. Event is coming soon. YouTube channel. Here's the latest intel. 24 signs that you're direct in Nunaki descendant. By Rev Content. We have always wondered where we might have come from, but we have never really been able to find out for certain. However, we have many ancient documents that talk about the creation of the heaven and the earth and where we might have descended from. Sumerian writing talk about the days where heaven and earth were created, and the Anuna gods being born and the lesser Anuna being charged with the work to shape the land. The greater Anuna ruled over the lesser, and became resentful of their Anuna superiors and demanded Enki, the great ruling Anuna god to create others to this work. It is a very extensive and interesting history, but nowadays there are descendants of the Anunnaki and they are very powerful. You might even be one. Anunnaki believed that you could truly create something from nothing. They were given the great task to change the world and lead others away from sin and creating and controlling the physical world. They believe that they can take utter nothingness and create something of physical matter. They began this practice some 5000 years ago but the true time frame is not known by anyone. The Anunnaki might even refer to this time period as a dream. They are gifted in all of the powers to create matter from energy. They are believed to create matter itself out of the building blocks of universal energies. They accomplished these works from materials gathered from the abyss. It is as if they said let there be light out of an utterances of darkness, to speak of it in a biblical term. And Nunaki also hate time schedules. They feel as if they should be free to choose what they want and need to do with their time on their own. They hate being held to time schedules even more than the schedule itself. They wanted more time so that they could make the world of matter a better place, perfect even. They have also always been portrayed to stand against Lucifer. They are always thinking of the better need of the people, and they stand against all evil. They shaped the earth and all of its forces and they protected again the luminous man of fire known as Lucifer. Many in Nunaki never felt like creation was allowed to be perfected, and more than a few nursed a grudge towards Lucifer for stopping their creations. They do not like to be referred to or compared to other angels. The Nunaki had two forms, the Antu and the Kishar. Kishar created the earth and everything upon it. The Kishar believe in one law, one God and one truth. They pursued a single purpose and do not have patience for anything else. They were the builders and the first that were set to work on the great project of earth. They consider themselves fallen angels, rather than angels in general. It's quite complicated, which induces frustration when even being compared. They have an extreme understanding of gravitational force and physics. The Antu made movement and travels upon the Kishar's creation possible. The Antu came to believe in what was called the strict observance. This was an idea that they came up with, but it actually caused a return to the belief that there were many gods. They also came to terms with that God may not have been the original creator of the universe. It is an interesting thought, but it was at great odds with the Kishar and the One Law. And Nunaki is also very self-conscious. They worry about their bodies because when it came to humanity, the Anunnaki was responsible for creation of the body itself. They were very proud of their creation because of how elaborate it was. I mean just think about the entire mechanisms of our body. Because they created it, however, they are also very insecure and self-conscious about it. They are capable of love, but it doesn't always do them well. They have never had any true intentions of acquiring love, but it can come along. Although if it goes badly it can have a seriously negative effect on the Anunnaki. They are very opinionated, but they never share or debate on what they know is true. Many Anunnaki felt resentment towards the Creator and their suspicions that he was actually a demiurge. These suspicions slowly leaked out into the world, and the angelic hierarchies bubbled over with controversy. They took the side of humanity and human mythology. When the Anunnaki refused to join the great debate, they kept true to their belief in pure neutrality and thus were left keeping their grief and arguments to themselves. Both the Antu and the Kishar were in agreement with each other on this. In the end, 
over half of the Anunnaki left heaven to take up signs with humanity. They also love precious earth gems and metals because they are so earthly. They were the fifth house of angels and the only group to present themselves the fall of humanity. They came to the human species presenting precious metals and gems before Adam and Eve, or the original tribes of humanity. They made one big mistake in judging humanity. Humanity sought to use the tools of the Anunnaki as if they were their own. This sparked massive rebellion within the Anunnaki, who agreed to use their tools as means of destruction rather than creation. The Archangel Lucifer had drawn the line in the sand, having decided that since the angels themselves were going to argue forever, he would take up signs with the Anunnaki to defend the human species. They are natural inventors and teachers. They are always looking for new resources and tools they can use for creating. After the fall of humanity, the earth would come a great flood. The humans would be left to make means of survival on their own. They are also responsible for creating most of the weapons of modern warfare. The heavenly powers cursed the angels that sided with Lucifer, calling Tech the Fallen or the Nephilim. When the armies of Michael began to fall upon the Fallen, because they were such amazing inventors, they created weapons of modern warfare. A Nanaki and the malefactors began sharing the secrets of transmutation, transmigration and the all-essential art of alchemical transformations. It is not recorded historically, but many suspect that the Anunnaki also made the realization that during the creation of matter and the earth, they had developed an usually powerful untested weapon. They were also conscientious objectors. The heavenly powers cursed the angels that sided with Lucifer. Many and Nunaki joined with the Iron Legion building what the Fallen and their allies needed to defend themselves. This was called the Iron Legion and over half the Anunnaki refused to join the war itself. They were unsure how to react to many human emotions. In their point of evolution, some worldly things were beyond the human scope of understanding. They did not have the faith that the malefactors had. Many Anunnaki tried to demonstrate and work for the tools for them, but many humans became resentful and frightened and turned from them. The humans that were on the side of the Iron Legion had now turned their attention against all of the Archangelic powers, the Anunnaki and even both sides of the Great War. They also take things extremely personally. Their biggest fear is rejection, and they hate being shut down by people. They were originally hurt by the second rejection. They began to despair that they could never be with on human species and the Anunnaki. They could never be with humans on their own terms. The humans rebelled against the Anunnaki, and they were deeply saddened and they had never been more proud of their creation. They are morally neutral and believe in science. When humans went to war against the Archangelic powers, the humans that wanted to remain neutral were considered traitors to the human species. The leader of the conscientious objectors that followed the Anunnaki model of pacifism was killed by his own brother. This is the story of Cain and Abel, or Enki and Elil in modern Anunnaki tales and mythology. Anunnaki has massive healing abilities. They are natural healers, and they try to further perfect what was once their perfect creation. They made the humans, therefore they wanted to preserve or improve their perfectness as much as possible. The malefactor helped in all the ways they could and healed many humans back from death during the war for experimentation. It was rumored that through the earliest alliances, the Anunnaki and the malefactors gained power, wealth, and status, in modern-day industries of insurance. They believed in perfection and activity to seek it in everything. They took up arms with humanity, sharing the spoils of war, but not fighting against the remaining Iron Legion. The Anunnaki began to create tools that could be used by the hybrids and mortals, as well as teaching them how to shape and create tools of their own. The Anunnaki descendants and their bloodline mingled with humans creating powerful hybrids that became the creators of the pyramids, Stonehenge, mermaids, Goliath, the Illuminati, Merovinans, great emperors of Asia, the Nagas of India, Buddha, Quetzalcoatl and the Mayan calendar, Olympiads of Greece. Noah and his descendants, Melchizedek, Tote, the Pendragons, the Tuathidadanan, Agartha, Shambhala, Bakulvotan, Jesus of Galilee, Vlad the Impaler, the Egyptian pharaohs and Julius Caesar.
they are easily corrupted by the quest of power. One corrupt Anunnaki leaders named Kepto became convinced that if mortals and fallen made it, their children would be the perfect creatures they had sought for in the first place. This is what many scholars believe the Anunnaki came to sustain themselves on after the flood. A few decided to remain on earth and survived. They are deeply aware of the world and its darkest problems. They try to seek and fix problems in the modern day world as well as the ancient. The dark resonance of history repeating itself was one of greatest concerns the Anunnaki had, but there was no time to do anything about such matters. Because the great flood that is written of all throughout human history, was about to cast its waters across the earth. To purchase these products and more visit our products link below in our description. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape, the super strong waterproof tape. That can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Comes the all-new Hurricane Spin Broom, the cordless lightweight spinning broom that cleans up this mess, that mess, and every mess with ease. To purchase these products and more, visit our products link below in our description. Your purchase helps support our channel. Thank you for your support. Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Remember to check out our playlist for important intel you may have missed. And visit our sister channel. The event is coming soon for additional intel and information. Stay tuned. Victory of the Light.